Yeah, uh, we give up a set piece goal early, which, uh, in my opinion, gives them a lot of confidence right from the bat that uh, that they can get something out of this. I think um, I know they're a confident team. I know they're at home, but I also think that they also know the quality and the speed and the pace and the different things that we have. You can see it by the number of fouls all over the field. Uh, referee couldn't find his yellow card for a hell of a long time, um, so it just plays into their hands. I'll say it over and over and again this league. In this league, if referees don't call fouls, the teams that have the ball are going to lose a lot of games. That's the way it is. And if referees don't know, the standard of the penalty foul was not the standard of the foul for the whole game. That's the embarrassing part of it all. If that contact was the contact that set the standard for what is a foul in this game, Maya got mugged three, four times on set pieces. Like, it's just so inconsistent and it's just, it's hard. But we made mistakes. We didn't play great. We didn't find the right shape at the beginning of the game, which then afforded them some opportunities really to counter. But we got we got back to 1-1, and then we immediately, look, I, I don't, for me, I don't believe it's a, it's a penalty. I believe he kicks his leg out to our guy who slides and then goes down, and it's minimal at best. My opinion, anybody can have their own opinion. But we give back the lead instantly, and that's that's a problem because, again, what you saw through Coast Most tonight is they sat in a relatively low block. They waited for it to try to turn us over, and they broke out. And if we don't give them the lead, it stays 0-0, they're at home, or 1-1, or something, then they have to consider coming off of their low block, which then opens the space for us to get after them. So we also didn't do ourselves any, any justice on the night. Um, and then I think because we were chasing the game through large stretches, we exposed ourselves sometimes in the counters that, uh, that certainly gave them opportunities. Because, they, I mean, the one thing they certainly are is fast and powerful on the other side when, when we lose balls. And, and give them spaces to run. So we obviously did a little bit of a manufactured center back job. I didn't want to risk uh, Martin. He is very, very close to being ready, but it's just early in the season and it, and it just doesn't make sense for Martin to, to be out there. Uh, so we manufactured some, tried to manufacture some stuff. I thought that he did a solid job. It was not, a, not an easy game. Um, that to me is it. It's a, it's a frustrating game uh, where these big games come down to to moments and 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 emotions and when you know when goals happen like like those the first one is just us not executing and the second one's a tough one to swallow. Do you feel like the early goal kind of uh, changed the game plan for you guys? I don't know if it changed the game plan, but I think <clears throat> I think it then immediately starts the guys start to think a little bit like oh we've got to rush and get this back and we could be more patient because again they were sitting in a lower block and we could have been a little more patient stayed in our positions a little bit more consistently. That way we can protect ourselves when turnovers happen. And I felt like we start we started moving to too many different spots and then you're displaced when the ball turns over and now we're chasing the wrong direction and that becomes a little bit expensive. So uh, I don't know if it changes the game plan. However, it, I think it does change the emotion of the day and the emotion of the game, which affects the thought process sometimes uh, for guys feeling like we got to go get the ball, the goal back right away, you know, and sometimes you just got to play the long game and just stay stay consistent where we're trying to do. You guys have given up more goals than you'd like on set pieces. Is there something that's happening on set pieces or is it different every time? Well, <clears throat> this one uh, for me, again, is that we, we lose the near post. They get in front of us at the near post, they flip, they skip it on, and then we lose the back post, but it makes all of the, when you lose the near post, which has happened a couple times, uh, it makes all of the zone players a little more passive because they don't know where the deflection is going to go and they don't they can't attack the ball. The front guys on the in the zones and the front guys who are supposed to be covering the near post have to do a better job of protecting it because if they get first touch at the front then everybody's uh, uh, and that's what that happened a couple of games ago. It happened again today. We talked about it, but we you know we have to execute. We have to execute. We worked on it. We have to execute. Did everyone train? Yesterday for about 10 minutes, you know, because Eric's concussion came the day before. Um, we weren't sure if it was going to be significant or not significant in terms of just he got hit in the nose, so you weren't you're not really sure what that's going to look like. Uh, bloody nose and some of that you're not really sure if that's a concussion or ultimately, but so <clears throat> it was like I said, game day minus one. We put him back there with. Uh, you know, if this is what we have to go with, this is what it's going to look like. So, uh, so yeah, it uh, wasn't great for the preparation plan, but it, to me, it's, it wasn't the, the difference in the day. What makes him the right guy? Well, <clears throat> he has played back there a little bit in a back five or back three. 
Um, I feel like athletically he can do it back there. And the second is I wanted Nikki having to deal more with Buanga. I didn't want to have to put somebody else out there trying to deal with Buanga. So I knew Bogush is more of a, he's not a nine. He's a guy who's going to drop off, which meant we could probably get away with a midfielder in that. It's not a true nine that's going to back you in and do all that kind of stuff. So we felt like uh, the opportunity. I thought there was a possibility for us to have a little bit of the ball, which gave us another guy very comfortable on the ball in the back to, to help us to control some of the game. Um, so that, that became you know, the reason why you don't have a lot of time to, to ponder over it and, and, and try different things. So you got to go with uh, kind of your gut instinct and what you think guys are capable of. Right. Yeah, good day. Great, great day for him. He had some tough things to say, but he made, he made the moments that he could. Um, yeah, there's, you know, again, I think uh, he did what he's supposed to do. Greg, we talked earlier this week, you said not many teams have played in the low block. That early goal allowed LAFC to sit more. 100%, yep. um, and you were talking about your team needed to be more patient. Is there something that you get learning out of this game? Because I imagine with how good you guys are in space, you're going to see more teams maybe approach games this way. Yeah, uh, for sure. Again, I think. <clears throat> Our team likes to attack with some speed and with some pace, and there can be those moments inside of the game that arrive where we could. We had a couple. We didn't execute as well as we'd like to on a couple, especially one really late there at the end where uh, I thought we could go with some speed. We didn't execute on it. But when teams take space away from us, we do need to be a little more patient, be a, be a little bit more responsible to kind of our spaces and our positions. We don't need to be running all over the place. Uh, and we don't need to rush and force balls into areas that aren't available to us. We can invite teams out of those spaces and then play into those spaces when they open up. But as we go down a goal, I think there's a little bit more of a uh, enticement, if you will, to try to split things through lines or force things and against a team with the power and speed they have in the transition. That's what they're looking for. And, and we, at times, played into that. And uh, sometimes we, again, we just need to be more patient. And, and nobody, uh, no team wants to play in their low defensive block for extended periods of time. It's sent, at some point, they're going to want to try to get pressure to the ball. And we just have to be a little more more patient in some of those moments. The other thing they were doing is they dropped Ely back to almost be like a middle center back to create a back five at times, which really kind of closed off some some spaces at times and uh, we looked to counter that a little bit with the two forwards um, but that time in that shift we had some moments but we we weren't quite as um, quite as effective yet in that shift because I would like us to be as we keep moving forward. Time for two more questions. Greg the DP seemed a little bit more disconnected today than normal was that a product of the low block that was employed against them? A little bit of that and a little bit of their foul half the times they touched the ball uh, you know um, I mean Joseph was fouled by Palencia probably eight times before he got a yellow card and then eventually he gets a yellow card so um, that will slow you down you can't you don't have any choice um, again I think sometimes uh, our impatience and trying to rush things and not being patient and getting the wide guys to touch on the ball a little bit more often and trying to split means that they just didn't get as many many activities and many touches Certainly, they didn't have the space to run into over the stretches of the game that, that we've had in others. Um, so, I think it's a combination of, uh, of a certain a number of things. But I think LAFC did what they want to do, which is disrupt as much of what we what we were trying to do and where we were going, and, and trying to hit us on the counter and, and set pieces. And you know, both of those things worked for them today. Uh, Tata McCarthy, Last performance. Question. Yeah, just just said he was he did excellent. He was excellent today. Uh, he did what he's supposed to do on the day. Um, yeah, there was nothing more in him. I mean, he's not going to save that corner kick, and he's not going to save the, uh, the penalty kick that smashed up the middle. So he did, a, he did an excellent job. So I was happy for him because I know he came back here, and uh, he wants to perform, obviously, in, in this situation. So it's good for him. Thanks for your time, Greg. Thank you.